Okay, an introduction to snakes in Ontario. Here in Ontario, the most common snake I've come across is the garter snake, the eastern garter snake. Quite often in my own backyard. Um, when you're out hiking, you may see something slither nearby. They are rather quick and it's most likely a garter snake. Snakes are often misunderstood as venomous or slimy, but here in Ontario, they are mostly harmless, never slimy, and they play an important role in nature. All snakes have dry, scaly skin, and there is only one type of venomous snake in Ontario. This snake is docile and avoids people. As the name suggests, it rattles its tail when it's threatened, but should not be confused with the Eastern hognose, which also rattles, and the hognose snake which doesn't inject venom, although it does have a mildly toxic venomous saliva that helps subdue its prey. Because these snakes can look very similar to non-venomous species, um, it's best to look at the images of different species in order to properly identify the snakes. The best way to identify a Massasauga rattler is through its scales. This snake is light gray with rows of black spots along its back. Massasauga rattlers are threatened in Canada. They occur only along the Georgian Bay and the Bruce Peninsula. There is a very small population in southwestern Ontario. The largest snake in Ontario is the gray snake, also known as eastern or black rat snake. The species can grow up to two meters long, but don't expect this length from most snakes in the province. Out of 16 species of snakes, two are closely related to the garter snake. These are non-venomous snakes and are generally short with a maximum width of about 40 to 80 centimeters. Eastern garter snakes is the most widely distributed reptile in Canada, and you're likely to spot it even without trying. Gutter snakes are highly adaptable and can live in almost any environment, such as forests, marshes, and fields, can be called garden snakes because of how they are often found in gardens and grassy patches. So, like I said, if you're out for a walk and you see a fast-moving snake slither into the grass and out of sight, it's probably that, the garter snake. Another short species is the ringneck snake, and it is about 12 centimeters long and preys on small amphibians and salamanders. Decay's brown snake is also short, reaching a maximum length of about 50 centimeters. These species are common throughout Ontario. Its brown gray scale easily blends in with the rock, dirt, and leaves, uh, making it harder to spot. These species are non-venomous and mainly preys on earthworms, but has been known to eat frogs, slugs, snails, and insects. All snakes are at risk. Ontario's largest snake is the gray rat snake at 1.9 meters. The second largest snake in Ontario is the blue racer and it's known for its silver blue scales. But um, I took a trip to Point Pelee Island and it is more popular there. We do not have those snakes around here in Georgia Bay. Eastern fox snakes are beautiful snakes that may, that may rattle their tails against vegetation and attempt to scare or perceive threat away. This large harmless snake is globally rare, existing only along the coastline of the Great Lakes. Snakes across Canada are at risk of population decline due to habitat degradation human prosecution, and road mortality. Eastern fox snakes are endangered. Butler garter snakes endangered. Massasauga rattlers endangered. Blue racer endangered. Eastern hognose snake threatened. And gray rat snake threatened. Currently, the only snake species in Ontario not at risk are the DK's brown snake, common garter snake, and northern water snake ring neck snake and smooth green snake. Snakes benefit the ecosystem and control rodent population. When I think of hibernation, 
my mind immediately thinks of bears, but mammals aren't the only animals to hibernate. All snakes rely on a safe shelter to make it through the chilly winter. These reptiles can survive in winter if they are below, you know, the frost line and the snakes hibernate until early April, usually underneath rocks or in crevices in the ground. Snakes are not nearly as scary as they seem. In Ontario, you're most likely to come across a harmless garter snake. Large snakes, like I said, is the blue racer, live only in certain areas. The venomous Massasauga rattler, all prefer to avoid humans. Um, snakes also are essential for maintaining ecosystem balance when a snake population decreases rodent populations increase. Snakes are an important part of the ecosystem, feeding on a variety of things, including small mammals, amphibians, and in turn being prey to birds of prey, some water birds, and mammals. Unfortunately, these reptiles are often misunderstood and killed out of fear. As with all wildlife give snakes space never approach or harass wildlife and never be tempted to handle reptiles turtles or amphibians unless absolutely necessary to remove them from the road or similar dangers whether a snake is venomous or not it's best to keep your distance and let them carry on with their business and that is it for snakes i hope you have enjoyed this know your local species and if you would like me to cover uh, certain species, don't forget to email and I will get that covered for you. Bye for now.